bittersweet day for a Bay Area family. It's been one month since seven-year-old Jetsia Torres Garcia was shot and killed during 4th of July celebrations along the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Fox 13's Kelly Cowan is live along the Courtney Campbell, and Kelly, today would have been his eighth birthday. That's right, and toy trucks and teddy bears, they mark the location here where he was killed one month ago by that stray bullet. And this week, his family members began hanging birthday, sign here, birthday signs here as well. As you said, he would have turned eight years old today. One sign that's hanging here reads, I was seven years old and I didn't think anyone deserved to die at the short age when my life just started. I'm just asking you for help to find who did this to me. Well, he and his family are still waiting for justice. No arrests have been made, but his family believes that there were plenty of witnesses to what happened to Jitsian. He and his grandpa were here on the Courtney Campbell cause way to watch fireworks on the 4th of July. It was absolutely packed with people at that time. And his grandfather tells us that two groups of people nearby had been in a loud and very noticeable argument over jet skis that went on for some time. He says at some point, someone pulled out a gun and began shooting. And that's when he grabbed Jet Sian, pulled him into his truck for cover. He tried to use his body to shield the boy from the bullets. They both ended up being struck by at least one bullet. His grandfather father survived, but Jitsian was killed. Now his family members are pleading for help to bring the shooter or shooters to justice. They say no one should be recklessly firing into a crowd and no one should be covering for anybody who did that and took the life of a child. Guns are for protection, not to be used as toys. Guns are not toys. We just want the justice. We just want justice. Whoever did that, we just want justice. Once again, police have not arrested anyone in this case, nor have they named any suspects or persons of interest. In a press conference last month, detectives said they had spoken to several eyewitnesses and were provided videos from the scene. They are still hoping that more will come forward. Crime Stoppers, meanwhile, offering a $5,000 reward for anyone with information about this that leads to an arrest. This is heartbreaking. All right, Kelly Cowan reporting for us this morning. Thank you, Kel.